Hey everybody, how's it going? Eagle Livewire here. Um, I thought I'd do a little something different and I finally got some new products in. This time we're going to do an RTA, which is a rebuildable tank atomizer. So far I've done a sub-ohm tank and I've showed you a mod. And now we're going to kind of dive into doing a build where I can wick it and put some coils in it and so forth and kind of show you something on the more advanced side of things instead of just a starter kit or whatnot. And today we're going to be reviewing the Juggernaut V2 RTA by QP Design. QP Designs, I, I have their uh, Juggernaut Mini RTA. Love the heck out of this little booger. He's looks kind of funny with that bubble glass on there, but amazing flavor in these tanks I tell you they're they're sweet deals and this one here is no exception to that rule uh, they have high quality designs out there in Canada that makes the designs and so forth and QP they're good so this here is the juggernaut V2 RTA it's a 28 millimeter RTA dual coil right now it comes in stainless steel and black uh, I did catch that they are releasing some new colors coming up They'll have a gold, they'll have a matte black, and they'll also have a gunmetal. Possibly a rainbow as well. You'll see on the box when it will go down low, it gives you all the different options. Right now, I know of only two, the stainless steel and the black itself, that are available right now. But they will be releasing the other colors here in the future. So, uh, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. We'll go ahead and we'll dive down. I'll show you everything that comes in the box. I'll do a build in it, and uh, then we'll come back up and we'll give you your thoughts okay I'll see you in a minute okay everybody here is the packaging that your juggernaut v2 RTA comes in nice little sturdy box it does have some nicotine warnings on the sides your normal recyclable over 18 nothing on that side here is what we got on the back of the box. Let's see if we can bring that in a little bit for you. 28 millimeter dual coil. You've got a bubble tank, which is, I think, 5 mils. The straight tank would give you three, three and a half, I believe. And uh, there's a different colors. This one here is the stainless steel version. Okay. Open this up. A little magnetic flop, flip up there juggernaut v2 got the owner's signature and it comes with an off manual it's probably one of the most basic ones i've ever seen four pages put it together take it apart <laughs> put it back together put your juice in away you go <laughs> anyway it comes with the vape ban here with a QP design vape ban you get a bag of spares which includes an allen key some o-rings a grommet for the top a couple grub screws a replacement grub screws and a little screwdriver it also comes with the bubble glass again five mil capacity I believe clear drip tip which is on the RTA and a black Delrin drip tip as well try to get this little booger out of here without breaking the glass or something <laughs> yeah a little slope design there I think that's kind of cool all right and then here is the tank I'll move this stuff out of the side Here is your Juggernaut V2. Now I don't have the V1. I've never owned that one, but I do know there's a couple different upgrades they did here. Instead of it having a slide top, this one is a twist. Then you can fill it through the kidney shaped holes right there. It's a nice little quarter turn, a three quarter turn design. And it's backwards threading, meaning, you know, on off works out pretty well okay bottom of the RTA juggernaut v2 QP designs serial number on the bottom okay and what you do here is just 
because this is a twist top, I usually put my hands down here on the glass a little bit. And then I can turn and take the bottom off here. Just unscrew it like so. Set that aside. Take a look at the deck here. See if we can get a little bit closer look with this, get it to focus in on there. So as you can see, you've got your insulator right here. A peak insulator right here. There we go. Focus. Here. <laughs> So you have one leg here, one leg here across the gap here. I think on the version one juggernaut, the screws to adjust were right here where the where your cotton would go on the other sides. So they have now moved it to here. Makes it a lot easier to get to your screws. Okay. Go up on the top. Like I said, it's an A10 style drip tip. Comes with the clear and the black Delrin. Nice smooth airflow. It does have stops all the way closed, all the way open. And if you look here, you see this little frosted piece in here. What that is, is it's silicone to make it TPD compliant for a two mil capacity. So you just slide the glass off like so. And then these just pop out like that. Take them out on either side. And there you go, then it increases the capacity, like I said, to three, three and a half mils. You can see inside the chimney, a little dirty in there, not too bad. Dome shaped. So the airflow comes in here, or you know, here comes down this channel, and then through these pieces here and hits your coils, and then comes up through the top. And I believe, I want to say these are probably focused. Anyway, so now that we got these out, I'll go ahead and just pop this glass box back on here like so. Make sure it's nice and secure. I'll set that aside and we'll put a build in it. Put it on my little homemade stand here that I have. And I'll grab my screwdriver here. Loosen up these screws. Like so. You can fit some pretty juicy coils in here, I imagine. Anyway, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to oh, get down here. I'm going to throw a build in it, wick it up. Make sure it's all glowing evenly and everything. Throw some juice in there. We'll go back up top and I'll give you my thoughts. All right. There you have it guys, that is the Juggernaut V2 RTA by QP Design. Now you kind of seen me kind of fumble around a little bit through the build process, kind of show you how to 
kind of eyeball your your coils uh, to get the right placement above the decking and stuff and burn out some hot spots you definitely want to make sure they're glowing evenly so you usually strum them uh, the term we use is for strumming them to get out the hot spots so they don't have any low lines some parts of that video might have seen a little jagged hot line on there scrape it make sure they're glowing evenly let them cool off a second put your cotton wick through there you don't want too thin a cotton that it slides through too easy you don't want too thick that it just pulls on the coil it's kind of a little matching game but if you love to tinker around and build stuff I highly recommend this super easy to build didn't have any trouble getting them lined up properly just kind of adjust them a little bit here and there and you're good to go Twenty eight millimeters a little bigger than most people use. Um, but I mean you have thirties and thirty threes, huge old tanks. This one's not too bad. I've got it sitting on top of an Aegis Legend by Geek Vape. Uh, dual eighteen six fifty. Imagine y'all have seen this before. And uh, it doesn't look too bad, doesn't doesn't overhang at all as you can tell. So twenty eight millimeters not too bad. Um, I don't know. You could probably do a single coil in here, but it's built. The air, airflow is built for this purpose for dual coils. So it comes in both sides, comes down those little channels I showed you, comes up underneath the coil and out through the top. Amazing flavor on this thing. I really enjoy it. Definitely not a disappointment here. If you get the chance to pick one of these up, I definitely recommend it. Um, just do a search for Juggernaut or QB, QB Designs might be able to direct from their website or whatnot can't put any links in the description so you're gonna have to check it out yourself um, question of the day would be have you started getting into RDAs and RTAs if you have what do you think I mean flavor comparison between this and a sub owned tank it's vast vastly different I think in my personal opinion you get way better flavor on these than you do a sub owned tank they're just as easy and it will last you a long time. Save a ton of money on coils so you don't keep burning through coils. If these, you can just re-wick it, take it apart. No problems. Easy peasy, right? Anyway, if you like what I've done here and you want me to you want to see more, go ahead and give me a like. Um, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll be pushing out some more videos here soon. I got some new products in. Something that and you know, are more recent. Um, but I will go ahead and dabble and throw in some of my older ones as well, just kind of give you an idea of what I got. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up, and I'll try to answer them as, as best I can, and I'll see you on the next video. Till then.